I think most people, when they're starting out, they're not very knowledgeable, and they buy things to use. And my, my advice would be never spend more than you can afford to spend. And if you are going to spend more than just a couple of hundred dollars on something or even 500, make sure that you're getting what you think you're getting. When you're starting out, unless you've, you know, you're, you've got a lot of knowledge or, and or a lot of income, uh, I think it's fun to look for things that you can afford and fix up. And then as you go along, if you're really interested in it, I think you'll begin to refine your taste. You'll learn more about it. I would seek out mentors, people who really know. Where can you find those mentors? Dealers, people that work at auction houses, appraisers. More importantly, maybe collectors. You know, the most people that are in this business that are older love to share their knowledge. I think you can make a really nice eclectic look with a few really well-placed antiques along with you know, contemporary things, you know, comfortable sofas and things right. like that. That's definitely a look that we promote and show in Southern Living. I think a lot of people might go to the pages of Southern Living to flip and find it. How, how do I create this look in my house? And you can go to big box stores and buy these things where you can really begin to hunt the market and find the real thing. And I think, and that's where we get really passionate about it. I think both in the show and both in life and what we do is helping people find things at auction, find things at yard sales, find things at estate sales that can decorate their home with real wood. Uh, I think one of the best buys in the market right now is ground furniture. Um, we look at this and we affectionately call it ground furniture, and that's referring to the solid wood stuff that's been created for the last few hundred years. What are kids buying today? They're buying, you know, Lexan and, and leather and chrome. They're, you know, there's a lot of this new modern style that's leaving a lot of the old classic stuff still, still re very reasonable in price and probably a good investment long term. It's going to come back. Uh, there'll be a day, and, and but price, items that were five thousand dollars, you know, five years ago, could easily be five hundred dollars today. Because they're very difficult to move, and so there, are, I think there's lots of people that can go in, they can get a dresser, they can get a bed, they can get a dining room table, they can get chairs, and they can pick them up on the cheap and furnish a house with the real thing and have a great look for very little money.